From Sundance Channel HQ in the heart of the 2013 Sundance Film Festival, this is Festival Insider. Festival Insider, presented by Acura. Acura, advance. Countless classic albums were recorded and mastered at Sound City Studios in Los Angeles. Now famed rocker Dave Grohl goes behind the camera for Sound City, a documentary that tells the rise and sadly the fall, not only of a legendary studio, but also the digital transformation of the music industry as a whole. Let's take a look. In this age of technology, where you can manipulate anything, how do we retain that human element? Chemistry is something that happens between people. It sort of like evolves until it hits this point and maybe goes Joining us in studio today is producer, director, and rocker, Dave Grohl. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us. The simple question is, what is this place? Sound City was a studio in the San Fernando Valley. Neil Young was one of the first people to record a big record there. Fleetwood Mac did their first record with Stevie and Lindsey Buckingham. Tom Petty did Damn the Torpedoes, Rage Against the Machine, Nine Inch Nails, and Metallica, and Johnny Cash, and Charles Manson, and Evil Knievel. I'm not kidding. Um, ice capades, like everyone used Sound City because it was, it sounded amazing. Nirvana recorded the record, never mind, there in 1991. If we had made that record in another studio, you might not have ever heard of Nirvana because it wouldn't sound that way. So about a year and a half ago, I heard that they were closing, so I thought I would pay tribute to the studio by making a movie. The movie is mostly about the human element of music. Right. When you work with people that that are easy to work with and you share not only like a common direction or a common goal, but you also like love each other personally, then that's when really good things happen. You get three people in a room and they just go and that's, that changes the world. And it's those moments that like you get the chills. When it really happens, you get the Beatles or you get the Rolling Stones. Explain to me how it's relevant to a digital generation. One of the misconceptions about the film is that people think that I'm saying the only way to do that is with two-inch tape, which is right. nowadays completely impractical. People should recognize what it is to be a human playing music. You can use all this technology to make a performance sound correct or perfect. Yeah. I think that really robs music of its true personality. Like when we go to make a record, and, I, and a producer like auto-tunes my voice. I'm like, take that off my voice. I wanna sound like me, right. you know? I mean, look at me. I don't, want, I don't wanna be perfect. I just wanna be badass. The movie is, of course, Sound City. You have to check it out. And it premiered right here at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival. I'm Amir Halim. We'll see you next time at Sundance Channel HQ. Festival Insider at the 2013 Sundance Film Festival is presented by Acura. Acura, advance.